but you still need to increase this crotch width because the hip is growing not only this way but this way as well so this new crotch point move out five six tenths of an inch so this is going to be a new crotch point for the next size then you can draw the new crotch curve hi i'm jean welcome to pattern studio 101 grading today we're going to grade a jumpsuit you know the top and pants are connected like this even though we don't grade in length i don't grade in length when it comes to adult clothing men's and women's still the armor depth should be growing so the bed length is growing technically but really small amount just the increment of the armor depth and for the pants part the same even though we don't grade in length the crotch depth should be growing so for the jumpsuit we have to think about both armor depth and the crotch increment i'm going to show you how to do the jumpsuit to body grading with two inch increment rules this is an example of a jumpsuit pattern as i said in the beginning if the jumpsuit has a waist seam we can grade the top and pants separately i already have several videos that shows you how to grade the tops and pants so you can watch those videos but for today there's no waist seam it's a one piece from the shoulder to the pants hem and we need to grade the armor depth and the pants crotch the front and back grading will be the same except for the crotch point so i'm going to grade with the back panel let's start with the top part when the chest is growing two inches the armor depth should grow quarter of an inch because we are not going to move the underarm line this shoulder point should go up quarter of an inch and for the shoulder width when the chest is growing two inches the shoulder width is increased by half of an inch but because this is a half of the shoulder width this new shoulder point should go down by quarter of an inch so the shoulder point move up quarter of an inch and move out quarter of an inch for the high shoulder point we're going to move the same amount the shoulder point move on x-axis so quarter of an inch so your shoulder point moved up quarter of an inch and your high shoulder point same moved up quarter of an inch but for the neck width the neck width increment is a quarter of an inch but because this is a half of the neck width you go down only one eighth of an inch if you connect these two points this is a new shoulder seam for the next size two inches bigger on the chest for the center back neck point go up one eighth of an inch on x-axis so you can draw the neckline along the same curve then look at this you go up one eighth of an inch at the center back neck and you go up one quarter of an inch at the high shoulder point so i'm talking about on x-axis so the back neck drop is growing by one eighth of an inch right okay let's go back underarm point because the chest has to grow by two inches half of an inch down on y-axis if you connect two points this is a new armor curve for the next size okay for the waist half of an inch and the hip again half of an inch okay let's zoom out the top part is done it's exactly the same when we grade just the top hey i want you to know that i have a master class that teaches you about pants balance I show you how to draft the pants base frame and how to fix the pants balance if you are working on existing pants patterns. A lot of fitting issues with pants can be resolved simply by examining the pants balance. Head over to my website patternstudio101.com 
and watch that masterclass. Let's go down to the pants hem. Normally, when we grade the pants, we grade the center back and the side seam evenly. So for example, if we grade two inches just for pants, this is the quarter of the body. So we have to increase half of an inch on this panel. Then normally quarter of an inch on the center back and quarter of an inch on the side seam. But in this case, we already graded the top part and there is no grading on the center back. All half of an inch is on the side seam. So for the pants, we have to do the same way. So I'm going to grade the pants hem only quarter of an inch. Again, if this is a regular pants, we're going to grade one eighth of an inch here and one eighth of an inch here. But because we don't grade on the center back, we have to grade a whole quarter of an inch at the side seam. So this is a quarter of an inch and the half of an inch on the hip. Then you can draw the side seam, right? Half of an inch to a quarter of an inch. Let's talk about the crotch depth. When we grade just the pants, we normally put the crotch line as zero line and move up the waist by quarter of an inch to increase the crotch depth. So we need to increase the crotch depth, but we cannot move this waist point. So instead, we have to move down this crotch point. So move down the crotch point by quarter of an inch. And then think about this. The hip is increased by half of an inch at the side seam, but you still need to increase this crotch width because the hip is growing not only this way, but this way as well. So this new crotch point move out 5 sixteenths of an inch. So this is going to be a new crotch point for the next size. Then you can draw the new crotch curve. Okay, we are going to keep the inseam length. We are not going to increase the inseam length. Because this crotch point moved down by quarter of an inch, this pants hem should go down quarter of an inch. So you can keep the inseam length the same throughout all the sizes. So this pink line is the next size. If you have any internal drill holes or pockets or dart like this, those dart or pockets can move half the amount of this increment. Because we increased this side seam by half of an inch, all these drill holes can be moved by a quarter of an inch. For the front, it's exactly the same as the back body. Only difference is this crotch point. Normally, the back crotch is a double amount of the front crotch because we increased this back crotch point by 5 sixteenths of an inch on y-axis. So for the front, we can increase only by one eighth of an inch on y-axis. For the x-axis, they are the same quarter of an inch. Because it's too tiny, I'm going to show you a little bit bigger view. So this is the top and the chest, waist, hip are the same. And the pants you have grading here, but the center back and inseam are the basically the same. And the pants is longer and you grade the pants hem like this. This is how you grade the jumpsuit. If you ever want to have PDF written instructions for my YouTube tutorials, go to my website and become a member. Every Wednesday when my new video drops, I send PDF written instructions to your inbox. You will get my YouTube video list as well, so you can easily find the exact lessons you need. Go to my website patternstudio101.com. The link is in the description box. Have an amazing week. See you next time. If you love my videos, why don't you join my email list? I'll send you Armal Depth Chart, Dart Calculator for Skirt and Pants, How to Measure Guide, and much more resources as a welcoming gift.
and you will get my weekly emails with great tips and techniques about pattern making. Go to my website patternstudio101.com and sign up.